PC WizKid here with the flagship CPU from AMD, the FX9590. This is an 8-core CPU, runs at 4.7 gigahertz by default. With turbo enabled, it hits 5 gigahertz. Now, this isn't much different than the previous FX series CPUs. Like the FX8350 that I reviewed not too long ago, it is a 32 nanometer pile driver architecture. Comes with 8 megs of level 2 and 8 megs of level 3 cache, 8 cores, DDR3 speeds of up to 1866 megahertz and that's what i'm using today in the uh, memory on this test system provided by cyber power pc of course you can use an existing am3 plus motherboard and that's what we've got in here a gigabyte 990 fx ud3 board in this awesome looking case that you can see here and uh, we're going to be looking at this system more in detail but really the star of the show here is the fx 9590 as you can see there I've got a nice CPU cooler and we need that because at 4.7 gigahertz voltages have to hit the 1.5 volts and that means that temperatures run really high you do need a power supply that can keep up with the power requirements of this CPU so that's why we've got a 1000 watt uh, modular power supply there as you can see from Enermax and also We've got an awesome graphics card here from Sapphire, the R9-280X Vapor X GPU. Awesome looking card from AMD. Right in there, we got an AMD all-round system. Not just the GPU, but also the CPU. So now we're going to put some of this to the test because, yes, we're running Windows 8. We are obviously trying to get the best results that we can out of this FX unlocked processor as you can see here there's the motherboard specs there's the memory that I'm running it at as I told you a second ago and of course the GPU from Sapphire the VaporX edition the R9-280X I do have this overclocked further from what it came out of the box temperatures are running very nicely here at full load we're hitting about 45 to 50 degrees Celsius which is very respectable of course I'm using that liquid CPU cooler as you can see here some benchmarks from ADA 64 the CPU Queen basically puts the uh, FX 9590 right smack in the middle as you can see right there of course it's doing better than the FX 8350 what it's trying to do here as an enthusiast CPU is give the Intel Core i7 4770K a run for its money. That's right. Prices have dropped dramatically. So now, when you purchase the CPU, you can actually get really good performance results, as you can see here on the Passmark CPU scores. Compared to a 3770K, it is basically matching it or beating it in many of these CPU tests. So, again, if we're looking to compare to Intel, we've got to compare fair, and of course, we've got to compare based on the price. Obviously, if you spend more money, you can get better results. But for the price that has dropped substantially for the FX9590 right now, priced at about $379 US, and I'll add the link below so you can get the latest pricing on this, you can see here that you can really get really good performance for the buck so again based on the CPU scores here that Passmark has given us we compare it to other CPUs running at different frequencies of course and you can see here the price value that you're getting again for the latest price of course as of this week you can see again how it positions itself let's go through some more benchmarks overall benchmarks fire strike here on 3d mark you can see the um, benchmarks on 3D Mark 11 and also on 3D Mark Vantage, the performance scores there. Again, the GPU and the CPU scores is what we're looking at. In Haven, you can see here the benchmarks, again, running things on ultra high settings, of course, because this is an enthusiast type of machine. For those of you that are looking to get the best gaming benchmarks, you want to run things, everything on ultra and very high settings. Well, that's what you're getting right here, as you can see top-notch frame per second very smooth no lag and again this is what I'm talking about when you're building a machine you're building smart you can buy a really good CPU you don't necessarily have to overclock it it's already 
running at 4.7 gigahertz by default so obviously <laughs> you know you're gonna get no lag there you're not gonna get any bottleneck issues as well here it is again on another game sleeping dogs as you can see running on extreme settings those are the results alien versus predator again high preset settings awesome machine from cyberpower pc pre-built with that configuration that i showed you along with the fx 9590 comment below let me know what you think about this dream machine from amd an all well-rounded rig if you ask me i definitely recommend this puppy and i'd like to thank cyberpower for providing it comment below let me know what you think and again thank you for watching